Did you yeah. click on the screen as well? You are supposed to get the score there. Yeah, yeah, I've clicked on the screen also. Yeah. <laughs> How down do you oh. think I am? <laughs> You'll have to read the question uh, again. Uh, I start crying. I open one of my actual lash went in my eye. Not my uh, false lashes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, I can't cry. Mascara will come out, man. It's not waterproof. Hi, you guys. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video of Pride Week. This is the last video that I'm doing for Pride Week. So if this is the first time you've come onto my channel, then hi, I'm Sara. I make beauty videos here on YouTube. So if you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the Sara squad. And click the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. fun segment planned for Pride Week and for that I have a very very special and fun guest here with me. He's a super talented makeup artist and Instagram beauty guru and he's just started his YouTube channel very recently. His name is Deep Pathare. So let's welcome just Deep Drama. Hi Deep, how do you feel to be here on my channel for the very first time? Hi Sarah, I feel amazing. This is probably my first YouTube collaboration I've ever done and I feel so honored to be on your channel because I have seen your work and it's honestly so stunning. I can't. Oh my god, I just can't. Thank you so much, dude. If you are not check his Instagram, you'll surely need to check his Instagram. It's if you're not following him on Instagram, what are you doing with your life? So he's too good and if you're not subscribed to his YouTube, you should definitely do that. I'm going to leave all his details in the description section. So go subscribe, go show a lot of love to his YouTube channel. So let's dive into today's video. So for today's video, we're going to take How Gay Are You quiz. It's a BuzzFeed quiz and we've seen Shane do it. We've seen um, Joey Crisefa do it. So we are going to do it today too. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I really want to see what I get as a result. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm straight. Like, I'm binary. Are you yeah, binary? Are, are you so... sure? Are you? <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope I am. We will we see. Shall we will see. Okay, so I've opened the quiz right here. If you want to take it, I'm going to leave that link in the description. But uh, I have it right here on my phone. And I have it right here open on my laptop, which is on the side, where I'm also looking at Sara. Because we need to appreciate beauty when we see one. Okay, so the first question here is choose a color between mm -hmm. red, blue, pink, yellow, lilac, and green. Now, very evidently, I like lilac, but I also like blue. Mm -hmm. So, what are you picking? I think I'll go for blue. Okay, I'm going for pink because pink is my favorite. Yeah? Yeah, it's my favorite color. Next question Pick a Beyonce. So the options are flawless, single ladies, run the world, drunk in love, crazy in love, and to be honest, I'm not into Beyonce. Are you crazy? <laughs> of course I'm into Beyonce. Same. So I think I am going to pick flawless because yes. Okay, I've never heard flawless. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I, I can you not? I've heard flawless and drunk in love I haven't heard. Drunk in, drunk in Love isn't classic. I'm choosing Crazy in Love because 50 Shades fan right here. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. So the next question is, do you enjoy consensual sexual experiences with or feel a sexual attraction to members of the same sex as yourself? Mm. In the options or in the options? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the options are yes all the time, quite a bit. Uh, mm, what? Uh, now and then, hardly ever <laughs> and never. Yes, Sara, pick, pick. You first. I, I think I definitely do find a lot of actresses attractive, but I don't know if I find them sexually attractive or just attractive. And also, like girls on Instagram, like I definitely mm -hmm. do check out girls on Instagram. So, what is it going to be? <laughs> I don't feel a sexual attraction to them. Maybe I would say. Okay, so then hardly. Now yeah. and then. Not, now and then is also not bad. Yeah, now and then. Not hardly ever. Now and then I do feel, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna pick obviously yes all the time. <laughs> okay, so the next question is what city would you most like to live in? And the options are New York, London, Paris, San Francisco, Tokyo, and Moscow. Okay, mm. so I think um, my two options, so I know very clearly. So one is New York and one is Paris because I've always wanted to live in Paris. I've been to New York. New York is very nice. 
like Bombay. Crowded. It is literally like Bombay. Yeah, I it's very really crowded. Like when I was in New York, I felt like I was in Bombay, but like with better people and better buildings. <laughs> but uh, because I've lived in New York already, I'm gonna say Paris. Yeah, I'm gonna choose Paris because I don't really like. London and all that, and then New York is too crowded. Like I've, I've already lived in Bombay, New York. Yeah, New York is very crowded. But then Paris also. Ha, huh, okay. I choose Paris because my brother is also there. Okay. So, I so we Paris. both chosen Paris. What's your drink of choice? Is it beer, gin and tonic, white wine, cocktails, stout, or whiskey? Um, I would go for white hmm. wine because I'm a classy lady, and to be honest, I can't handle <laughs> alcohol at all. <laughs> So I'm gonna stick with wine. <laughs> Not like I can handle alcohol, but I like gin and tonic. I'm really enjoying strong, gin and strong. That's like okay. currently my. I drink. can never go beyond wine, so I'm mm-hmm. going with wine. <laughs> Just to clarify, do you like having sex with people of the same sex? And the options are: no, really, no, barely, sort of now and then, quite a lot. I've already told you, yes, I do. Gender binaries, WTF? So, Sarah, tell me what you're gonna choose. <laughs> so, I think it's no, really, no, because I've only had sex with the same sex. <laughs> I'm not had sex. Yeah, with no. no, I'm sorry. I, I'm not had sex. With... <laughs> I'm not had sex with the opposite. You've had sex Shit, with the opposite I'm, I'm, sex. I've not had sex with okay. a girl. Okay. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, so I'm gonna choose. I've already told you. Yes, I do because oh, obviously. <laughs> the next question is, what's your ideal Saturday night? Very simple, easy question. Now the options are: clubbing until 5 a.m., dinner in theater, quiet drinks with friends, doing something new, house party, and net- night with Netflix. So I am going to choose night in with Netflix because <laughs> single AF. <laughs> You don't have to be single to have a night in with Netflix. I know you can always have friends over, but you know yeah. because of COVID, we can't have friends over. So, hmm. Sad. So for Saturday night, I would love to have a quiet drink with friends. That's my ideal Saturday. That's nice. So you're more like a person, people, people. You're more of a people person. Yeah, a people person, definitely. Mm-hmm. Next question. Uh, so, ooh, hang on. Have you ever felt sexually attracted to someone of the same sex? The uh, options are no. This one time, yep, a bit, quite often, actually. Yes, yes, I have absolutely, obviously. And your questions are weird. What are you gonna choose? <laughs> the questions are definitely not weird. I would say. This one time that I strongly was sexually attracted because. Other than that, I've just been attracted, not sexually. I knew it. I can't just say no. Just shut up, you. I'm gonna say yes, yes, I have, obviously. 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 The next question, which I don't know how it is relevant to our country and to us. This is not at all. But um, the question is. But how is this relevant to gays also? Why is this in this quiz? I don't even know most of these people. So the next question is, same, same. which US president do you most identify with? And the options are Barack Obama, William Howard Taft, Ronald Reagan, Abe Lincoln, James Buchanan, and JFK. This is a history test. I swear, dude, I have no idea who these people are except for JFK, Abe Lincoln, <laughs> and Barack Obama. So I'm gonna go with same, same. Barack Obama because he's he was a nice president. However controversial and other things he did. So I'm going to stick to Barack Obama because he did a lot for yeah, the queer same. community. Yeah, even I like him. Only because other people, so I have not lived only to see them on the radio. True, so true, <laughs> true. I love Barack Obama. Okay, so the next question is, what's your favorite root vegetable? Uh, what is this question? <laughs> it's not relatable at all, but okay, the options okay. are carrot, Jerusalem artichoke, potato, sweet potato, ginger or beet. Hmm. So, so I think my favorite is sweet potato because growing up I yeah. used to eat a lot of sweet potato and now it's just stuck to me. So I think I'm gonna pick sweet potato. Okay. Do you still like, like that? Yes, I do. So I make a really nice sweet potato mash. It's one of my 
favorite dishes that I eat of all time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for bread. I love my aloo. I love my aloo mm-hmm. and everything. So the next question is, if you could pick your ideal partner for a romantic date, what qualities would they have? And the options are, they'd be the same sex as me, preferably the same sex, but mostly no heart. Uh, don't care about their sex, care about the wine. True. Um, ideally, the opposite sex, but it's no biggie. Must be the opposite sex. You hear me? Dates are boring. Also true. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I think I would hmm. pick. Um, don't care about their sex. Care about the wine because <laughs> wine. Amen. Yeah. Even I was going to pick that, but then. I'm confused between ideally the opposite sex, but it's no biggie. <laughs> or they must be the opposite sex if you are me. Uh, or I can go for dates are boring because I genuinely find dates boring. Not like I've I been on many. I know what you do on dates. Same. I like the aftermath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna go for they must be the opposite sex. You hear me? I'm I not mean, giving I you know. a duck. <laughs> it's okay, my doubt is already there in my mind now. <laughs> Just shut up! <laughs> Alright, so the next question is pick a weather phenomena. Uh, flooding, little fluffy clouds, sunshine, tornado, uh, ball lightning, or big pretty rain. I know what I'm picking. Okay, I'll go for uh, sunshine. I like the sun. Yeah, sunshine. Golden hour. Okay. I am picking. So see, my obvious answer would be a pretty big rainbow, but I want to confuse the quiz. So I am going to go with flooding because who doesn't love water? A lot. Nobody likes floods, Steve. Especially <laughs> when you say in Bombay. How can you say that? <laughs> I'm very weird, sir. I'm telling you. <laughs> I think you have some amount of sadistic nature in you, definitely. So the next question is, which sex is sexiest? Same sex as me, duh. Mostly the same as me, but hey, all sexes are sexy. True. Uh, opposite sex wins. Just opposite, opposite, opposite. Stop being a sexiness fascist. So what are you gonna pick? pick These up? options are confusing. I know. Uh, opposite sex wins. Okay. Opposite sex. I'm going to select same sex as me. Duh. <laughs> okay. Next question. Pick an arbitrary box. They've just given us. Six boxes and we can choose anything. So I'm gonna say screw your boxes. I am going to say this box. Okay. Next question. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! It's such a huge question. <sighs> it's a math problem. <laughs> yes, it is a math equation, and I hate maths. So the question is: A plane leaves New York at 4:15 p.m. local time, bound for London, traveling at 500 miles per hour. Another plane leaves London at 9:30 p.m. local time, heading in the opposite direction, traveling at air speed. Do you ever want to have sex with someone of the same sex? I did not see this question going in this direction. <laughs> I was so focused trying to understand same. which is leaving the same. What the heck? Okay. So the options are: Wait, what? Yes. Still, yes, you cannot trick me with math puzzles. Option three, yes, block back slowly away. Option four, awkward wavy hand gesture. Option five, no, stops out of the room. Option six, this quiz does not represent me at all. True. So I'm gonna pick a. Um, uh, this quiz does not represent me at all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with no, stops out of the room. I got and I answer. got, even I got bad. So what did you get? I got, I got a very gay exclamation mark. You are very gay. You will really enjoy having sexual experience with members of the same sex. You are attracted to both physical and emotionally to people of the same sex, and are not very keen at all on social relations with a member of opposite sex. Yay! It's literally what you already knew. And what I got was also not gay. You are not gay. You really enjoy having sexual experiences with members of the opposite sex. You are attracted both physically and emotionally to people of opposite sex. Not very keen on sexual relations with members mm-hmm. of the same sex. Heterosexuality mm-hmm. is fun. Are you sure? 
Yeah, I saw. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> Stop confusing me. <laughs> That's my job, you know. I have confused so many men in my life, like so many straight men. Because I'll tell you honestly, I don't look like a, I don't look like a man in any way at all. Plus, I wear makeup. and i am not a very manly with muscles and all that okay so a lot of men on dating apps especially on hinge because hinge shows you men and women sometimes even though you pick man or a woman right so sometimes okay. men i just, don't know how it goes so on hinge you have an option of just commenting or just leaving right so sometimes i just get questions like you confuse me a lot what are you what is this we don't like this but i am still very much attracted you know so oh So yeah, so it's like I have confused a lot of people in my life, and I take full credit for it, but I don't take the full blame for it. I was I was born like <laughs> yeah. This. How can you take the blame? True, true. Yeah, true. full credit. Full credit. But you will not be able to confuse me. Take <laughs> shut up. Okay. I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. I'm very sure. Very sure. I'm telling. I like fashion and makeup, and so I am attracted to the women who dress well, who mm-hmm. carry themselves well. So you, you know that you, kind of. I look up to them, you know, like uh, at a respectful position. Yeah, when you look at them sexually. Not just respectfully, but like I would be like, you know, like I always used to say, I would turn gay for the sake of our good. Like Understood. you know that, like that's the vibe. Chick- yeah, that's the vibe. Hmm. I'll let you go this time. All right, guys. So this was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was damn chill and fun, and this is something similar to what we are going to do on Deep Channel as well. Uh, he has a different idea altogether that he's going to quiz me with gay lingo, and uh, I literally have no idea what that is. I don't know any of the words they use. If you want to see me suffer, you can go and head on to his channel. I'm going to leave the link in the description section. Is there anything you want to say, Deep? Um first of all I question your sexuality. Uh number 2. <laughs> uh, so the the video that we're doing on my channel it's not going to be as difficult as you think it is. It starts very easy and then it's it starts getting difficult as the words go below. So yeah, I think I had so much fun doing this quiz and it was so nice being on your channel. Okay guys, so this was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then don't forget to hit the like button down below. Also share this video with your friends and family so we can increase the Sara Squad and make it even larger. For this video, the Sara Squad shout out goes to Ishika Garwar. Thank you so much, Ishika, for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of next week's Sara Squad shout out, then all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon right next to it, and leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sara Squad, and you'll get a chance to be a part of next video Sara Squad shout out. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Thank you, Deep, for coming on here and thank uh, you for gracing us with your presence. And uh, thank you for being the sweetest, sweetest person I've ever met uh, through the YouTube family. So I love you, you and thank you oh for being God. here. And love bye, guys. Too. I love you all. Stay home. Stay safe. Mm-hmm.